Hello, welcome to Spotlight on Cirrus. It is June of 2024. My name is Laura Higgs, and I'm here in our Victoria Park with Loretta Turner, who is the past president of the Cirrus and Glenwood Chamber of Commerce. Welcome, Loretta. Thank you. Now, we're here to talk about bike stations, but I see you brought some company. I did. Um, so this is Murray Cooling, and he is a big fan of Access TV Channel 12, WCG TV. And when he saw your interview with Michelle and I about Scarecrow Days, he wanted to come on here and say hello. Well, that's wonderful. Hello, Murray. Hi. Thank you for joining us here. Can you, can you tell me what jobs you have in town? I, I work in the corner store and I work in the rink and I work down in the bike pa uh, paddle sometimes in there, yeah. And is there one more place you work? At the flower store? Uh, flower sh shop in there, yeah. Okay, I think that's Plaza Petals, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? Wonderful. Well, thank you for coming on our show and joining us. We All really right. appreciate your time. All right. All right, I have a few questions for Loretta. Right. Loretta, what exactly is a bike fix station? Well, a uh, bike fix station is exactly that. It's a place to fix your bike. Um, so you come over here and you put your... You hang your bike by the by the seat here. Okay. I'm going to take it off, though, because I want to talk about okay. some more things here. Sure. Um, no. So, yeah, it's, uh, this now? so, it has the various tools on it. It's got a pump for air and the different tools that you'll need to make adjustments on any parts or changing your tire, things like that. Um, we have a QR code, and we will be putting... Uh, how to video on there and for those that don't know how to use a QR code if you just open up your camera on your phone and point it at it along the top will come up the website and you just click on that and it'll take you right to the chamber website page where we will have a how to video that'll go into more description on how to do it. Great, uh, how to use the bike fix station. Yeah. Okay, now this QR code is very similar to a lot of restaurants putting their menu on it, yes. isn't that correct? Yep. Okay. Yeah, anytime you see a QR code, if it's on a poster or like something like this or a menu, you just open your camera app and it'll take you right to the website. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so are these are these common? Like how did this come about? Um, so they're quite common in city uh, parks not so common in small towns yet so I think we're at the the leading edge of that Yay, um, <laughs> yeah so back in 2021 David Martin from Martin Keyworks who is a member of our chamber had the idea um, that we should do some of these cycle tourism has increased we do see quite a few tourists come through on highway 2 either on like across Canada or interprovince bike ride mm -hmm people from Brandon that come out training um, and as well as a lot of the campers and our locals that we think that could really benefit from this as well. Okay. So our chamber jumped on board with it. Um, David Martin did up the original drawings for it, took it over to Evan at Tufts Machining. He had to make a couple modifications and then... Are we talking the frame, Loretta? The frame, yeah. Okay. The frame was the frame. built at uh, Tufts Machining. Tufts, okay. And then Evan took this over to Cirrus Collision and Glass and had it painted. Okay. Um, and then we took it to the town and took the with the idea because we wanted to have them installed on municipal land. So the chamber was going to um, take care of all of the, the costs and everything, but we wanted somewhere to put them. Uh, so council agreed and then we had David Peterson who is a chamber member for Peterson's Hangar 28 right. and myself have been working at the install. David actually got all the tools and did the physical installation of them. Uh, he came up with the idea to get a hold of Qualchex Construction to pour the cement pads. So these cement pads are great because they are movable so we have it here for right now but if we find after this season that it's not the best location that it might be better somewhere else then we can move it without ah. a whole lot of effort so um, it's just a big piece of equipment you need to bring in to pick it right off the ground yeah just a skid steer is what he right. brought it down with so yeah that's basically the stand so how many of them are there in town 
Um, so we have two that are installed now and we're still working on the third one. So there's this one and then there's the one on the corner of Highway 2 and 1st Street at the LED sign park. And then the third one will be going on the east side of the swinging bridge. But that one we, we still need to get... Now that we know the concrete pads are working, we need to get Qualchecks to pour us a third one and then we can install that hopefully sooner than later. Yeah. Okay, so are these put away for the winter, Loretta? No, um, because they're, they are durable and with the cement pad, they're heavy enough, they're easily easy to be left out. Weather resistant. Weather like, resistant, yeah, yeah, that's the word I'm yeah, looking for. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yep, so they will be fine all year. We, we'll just have to, like for maintenance, we just have to keep checking that the tools are here and you know maybe every couple of years we'll have to replace a tool or a pump but okay. we we uh, Dave did a really good job making sure that things were affordable to replace right they actually look like uh, really good solid pieces of equipment and they the definitely the cables are weather weather resistant as well rust resistant and all that yeah i know like the one um, by the led sign it's been out all winter, like this one just came out this spring. The one up there has been out, it got installed last fall. So there is a little bit of rust, there's a, you know, you can tell a little bit more weathered, um, but still very functionable. Yeah. Yes, I can tell that, I can tell that, thank you. Is this project now complete? Uh, no, we're just waiting on, we have to get the third one installed and we need to do our how-to video. Um, so if anyone out there wants to do a how-to video for us... Oh, so are you asking for a tech head to come in and help? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> okay. uh, maybe, maybe a bike person that uh, knows how to do it and is interested in that. Like, we would love to see your videos. We may or may not use it, but you can email those to surischamber at gmail.com and we can have a look or tag us on Facebook if you, if you use it or hashtag us and we'll see it and get a hold of you that way. Right, so we talked a little bit about the maintenance of this uh, of the bike stand, that it's weather resistant, so we're not going to have a whole lot of, of um, um, rusting and, and wear and tear. Uh, the ends certainly need to be taken care of. We need to make sure that the, the tools are there as well. But w what about the two-year maintenance or three-year maintenance or anything like that? Is, is there some, some things we need to be concerned about? Um, I don't think so. We tried to do it, like even the stickers, um, we had those made by Leech. Right. And the idea was we want them to last a good five, maybe ten years would be ideal. Oh, wow. Like so, so I'm hoping that we get five years at least out of them because we don't need something that's high maintenance for us. Right. So they should be easy. And, and if anyone ever sees something missing or it needing attention, then just let us know. Any of our businesses can get you in touch with anyone from the chamber. Right. Or, and the town website, there has to be a Yeah, well, our, our, our website, so even this QR code here will take you to the chamber, um, Facebook, or sorry, the chamber website. Right. Um, and we also have a chamber Facebook page that you can message us to, and there's, you, it's very easy to get a hold of us. Okay, that's great. Yeah. That's great. So I, just another thing, is there anything else we need to discuss? And I think also you went through the list of people that... Um, had input into making this. I think I want you to go over that list again. I'm going to hand you the mic. Okay. Yeah, so um, we hope that people use it and love them and love the convenience. Um, and we do want to say thank you, first of all, to David Peterson. Without him, this project would not have been completed. Um, thank you to Martin Keyworks, Tufts Machining, Cirrus Collision and Glass, Qualchecks Construction, LT's Corner Store, Peterson's Hangar 28, and the Municipality of Surris Glenwood for their contributions and partnering with the Surris and Glenwood Chamber of Commerce on this project. That's right, great. Great, thank you. And just a reminder that this is right here where you put store, uh, put the bike under the seat, right? Up here, just uh, so that it uh, prevents um, um, ruining or, or yeah. hurting anything on your bike. Is that correct? Yeah, like if you were to put your frame up here, you're going to wreck your bike frame and you're also going could damage the stand itself right. so these are made for the seat bar to go in there right and that's hangs and dangles there yeah yep. everything's available to you and it's the safest way to put it up there yeah and then it's not also when you're turning on something it's not likely to fall off right yeah, yeah. and it goes back enough like put it all the way to the back so that it's not going to fall right. off so yeah. Okay, just want a reminder of that because it's important for people to know how, I mean, I, we got the video and that's great, but people to know how it works. I think that's very, very important. 
Anything else, Loretta? Nope, that's everything. Anything We've covered it. Murray? Good. Well, thank you so much, Loretta, for coming down and sharing with us uh, all the information on the bike stands. And we'll expect the third one to be put in sometime this this season. Yep. yep. In the uh, On the east side of the Swing and Bridge. That's great. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Murray, for coming in and sharing your time with us. Thank you so much for being here at Spotlight on Service. Have a great day.